All right, welcome guys to your gizmo tutorial for the week. Uh, this gizmo that we have is called Road Trip. And I thought the fact that we are studying about maps and map skills, that this might kind of be a fun way to think about uh, how we actually use travel here in the United States to plan a trip. So uh, the cool thing about this is that you are actually going to be looking at several different types of vehicles. Uh, up here it says choose start. So we'll start by choosing a vehicle. You can go a sedan, small car, sports car, SUV, hybrid, pickup truck, van, motorcycle, or school bus. So um, we'll just leave it on the sedan for right now. Actually, I'll go to I'll go to the sports car. All right. Now, once I have chosen that, I can choose back to the map. You're always going to want to come down here to back to the map to get started on your trip. So we have a sports car. We are out of gas presently. Our trip odometer is at zero and we're going to go on our trip. Well, the first step and it will it won't let you go anywhere until you add some gasoline. So let's start um, in the activity in the student exploration sheet. The first step they're going to have you do after they ask you some just some information about what you already know about cars is they're going to show you how to find the, the mileage, the gas mileage for any given vehicle that you choose. The way you can do this is by saying, well, I'm just going to add one gallon. OK, so there is one gallon at two dollars and fifty cents. Now we'll talk about being able to adjust the price of gasoline here in a minute, but we'll start off with two dollars and fifty cents. Let's go back to our map. And we can get started from any any place we wanted. Now I could have started us in Nashville. I could have started us in Jackson, Mississippi or Atlanta, Georgia. But I actually have Lansing, Michigan as my current location. And I'm going to go to Indianapolis. OK, so I'm going to start. But I've only got a gallon. I only put one gallon of gas in that car. And how far did it go? 20 miles. So that tells me that this sports car is only going to get 20 miles on one gallon of gas. OK, so a way I could also check this is I'm going to come back and get more gas. Instead of getting one gallon, let's get 10 gallons. Now, if I said that it goes 20 miles on one gallon, that would seem to indicate that it's going to go 200 miles on 10 gallons. OK, so we've already gone 20 miles. I could reset my odometer. Go back to my map and let's see if it's going to go 200 miles on that 10 gallons. It does. It didn't quite get me all the way to Indianapolis, but it did take me 200 miles. Now I can get more gasoline. I could either start it and stop it or I can add one gallon or 10 gallons or do a quick fill up which we'll use more a little bit later. So I'm going to put a quick fill up. This car holds 16 gallons when I fill it up. OK, that cost me $40 at the price of $2.50 a gallon. I'll go back to the map and I'll continue on to Indianapolis. Now it's going to stop me there, even though I've still got gasoline left. Okay, it took me that entire 255 miles because I reset the odometer from 20 miles after I uh, first found out my mileage. Now, if I want to find out what my trip has been like, well, I went from Lansing to Indianapolis, a distance of 255 miles. I have purchased 27 gallons for a total price of 67.50. But I still have 14 and a quarter gallons left. OK, so you can see over here, my gas tank is not empty. Now, as you are playing with this, guys, you can go to any of these cities. Let's say from Indianapolis. Now I want to come down to Nashville. So I will start off until I run out of gas again. So I'm going to make it all the way to Nashville. But just as I ran out of gas, I, I just as I ran out of gas, let's look at my trip log. Now I've gone from Lansing to Indianapolis, Indianapolis to Nashville, 
and this is the total distance that I've gone. For 540 miles, I've purchased 27 gallons, 67.50, but I have zero left. So wherever I decide to go next, I'm going to have to get some more gas first. So the idea here, guys, is you're just going to play with this a little bit. Now you can start over. Of course, you can reset this. Let's start with a new vehicle. So for example, let's go with a hybrid and let's see what kind of mileage we're going to get out of that. Okay, we'll go on our trip. We have to start there. Let's see what kind of mileage with one gallon. Okay, let's see what kind of mileage we're going to get when we go to Atlanta. All right, so this hybrid on one gallon of gasoline took me 45 miles. So you're going to have a place on your student exploration sheet to be able to fill in all of these different uh, amounts on. I'll just show you here real quickly. You're going to be able to, to fill out what the small car's tank size is. In other words, how many gallons it will hold when you fill it up, what the gas mileage is. The range is how far it will go on one tank of gas. So that is what you're going to be checking out there to see, uh, to see which vehicle is the most economical. Now, as I said, when you get ready to get gas, you can play around with the price of gasoline. Right now, gasoline is really cheap. So you could put this all the way down here at $1.50 and you can actually find gasoline cheaper than $1.50 right now. But this is obviously going to affect the amount that you're going to spend as you fill up. This hybrid car only holds 12.3 gallons, but to fill it up only costs $18.45. Take it back to my map and say, here I'm heading toward Atlanta. Let's see. Oh man, I can make it to Atlanta. And I've still got 7.3, 7.83 gallons left. Go back to my map and say, where do I want to go from there? I think I will go to Raleigh, North Carolina. See if I can get it. There it is. Is it going to make it all the way? It's going to be close. Oh, not quite. So I'm going to have to come and fill up again if I want to fill up with another 12.3 gallons. And then I can continue on my trip to Raleigh. So guys, you will get an, a student exploration sheet. And I want you to have some fun with this. See if you can tell me what is the most economical vehicle for you to use. And then just show me some screenshots of the road trip that you go on. And you can take screenshots of your trip log to tell me what you have what you've done uh what vehicle how much gasoline you purchased uh what the total cost of your trip was and uh just have some fun with it right this is a good way for you to explore maps in a real world skill as soon as you are able to drive this will be a part of the the skills that you will want to do when you're figuring out uh how to, how to plan a trip all right, have fun with it, guys, and I'll see you in class.